You've been warned. <laughs> Welcome to day four. As you can see, with no more grey skies, which is fantastic. Um, we've literally just had to run in the shower for like 10 minutes to get some hot water. So Charlie's trying to have a shower because it could be disastrous in a minute. We've got reservations for Howell's Kitchen at 12.30 and it's um, it's um, it's 1,100 hours at a moment. <laughs> and um, yeah, overall, we're going to go to Howell's Kitchen, man, being a bit dirty until we fix it, which we don't want to do. Um, but as you can all see, Charlie went to bed last night and she sent me out to work. Oh, so I went to the, um, the horseshoe poker room. I sat down with $300 and I, I got up to just over $500, um, but I cashed out for 461 So we made 161 profit. Um, we just counted for money. So I'm, I'm actually up now by about $300 um, for the trip. And Charlie's up roughly about two hundred dollars for the trip, um, as you'll see, uh, as you'll see in yesterday's vlog if you watch it. Um, we just literally just kept hitting bonuses after bonuses. Over. I think there's two or three machines. We put a dollar in, for, no, but well, we put a hundred in, um, and on the first spin, we literally hit a massive line hit of like a couple hundred bucks three times. Um, so there's a lot of slot play in these videos. It probably won't be as much today. Um, well, it may actually, it may be to be fair. I'm taking, we're both taking $500 gambling money out with us today. Um, but at five o'clock, we're meeting Hangovers and Handpay, and we're going to O'Shea's Down the Link Promenade. So, um, yeah, so hopefully, I'm not, I'm not sure what's going to happen really. I'm not sure how much of a big drinking session it's going to be, but I'm sure it'll be fun. They seem like really cool people. Um, and they, they went for a really sexy dinner last night in the Bellagio, whereas we went for dirty, skanky nachos <laughs> and a quesadilla down at Nacho Daddy. I don't know if anyone's ever been there before, downtown, but I wouldn't recommend it, to be fair. Um, it smelled in there. The toilets were a bit grim. The one down the side of Planet Hollywood, because there's two Nacho Daddies in town, looks far nicer. But I didn't particularly rate the food if I'm honest, it comes to about seventy dollars, and as you saw in yesterday's vlog, part one, um, we went to Cabo Wabo because we we tried to get in at the Henry at the Cosmo, but they wouldn't. They, well, they couldn't um, see us for an hour and a half. So I've just booked that for Saturday um, lunchtime before we fly back because I really want to try that eggs Benedict in there. But honestly, Cabo Wabo, we sat outside. <clears throat> the weather was decent, but the food. Honestly, I can't remember. I, I, it was like a deep fried burrito. I've not finished one meal since I've been here, but that's the closest I've come to. But that was phenomenal. Honestly, I have the Bahama Mama. That was brilliant. Um, so, honestly, it was so good. But that burrito, and I, I can't recommend that enough to go there. That was really, really good. Um, so, yeah, so the plans today, as I've said, we're going to go meet uh, Hangover's Hand and a few other people uh, at five o'clock. I'm not sure where it's going to take us, but I will show you everything we're up to. And I will certainly show you um, House Kitchen in a moment. I'm going to have the prefix menu, which I think, because Steve and Liz are friends who've been with us. That's what they had the other day. So I'm going to have the prefix. I think mean, 60 bucks. I might do the wine pairing, I think. But I'm certainly, I've always wanted to try um, the beef wellington. And when we come um, five years ago, I booked House Kitchen about four times in one week. 
and we never made it to one reservation. So they charged me $50 um, this time just to make sure I turn up, um, booking my holding fee. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I've done a few Gordon Ramsay's restaurants back home and, and, um, and here. So that's going to be fun. I'm not sure what Charlie's going to have because she's gluten-free. But I will stop talking now. Thank you for everyone who's watched the vlogs. There's a couple of thousand people so far. And thank you to all of our lovely subscribers. I hope me fucking just talking shit, playing slots, um, isn't bore, it's not boring people. Because um, we're planning on coming back, I don't know, in about six to ten months' time. So if you want to stick with us and enjoy some more vegas vlogs feel free as you can tell by the title of our channel we're not a vegas channel but this is my sixth time in vegas so we tend to come and this is charlie's third time but we tend to come every 18 months or so but we'll probably come a bit more often i think now um and we'll just take it from there really so i hope you like all the content our next trip after this one is a cruise isn't it charlie yeah so we go on a cruise in about eight weeks time um, around Northern Europe on the MSC Euribia. So we'll be vlogging that. But thanks for everyone for watching. I'll say goodbye. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. I just thought I'd let everyone know if you're worried about staying in the Flamingo. These beds are shit all, aren't they, Charlie? They're good. Yeah, we've had um, good sleeps, actually. Last night was the best night. I yeah. had about eight hours sleep. I think I've had six. So, so, but they're super comfortable, honestly. I mean, we've got two great beds at home. If not... We'd buy one, wouldn't we, Charles? <laughs> yeah. um, but Charlie, do you want to tell I, I forgot to mention in the opening monologue what happened yesterday. So we've had no luck um, when it comes to booking yeah. stuff, but we've had luck on the slot machines. So it's a win. Um, yeah. Why don't you tell people what happened with liftoff at Area 15? Oh, God, yeah. So yesterday, because it was really crap weather, it was like at one point we had hailstones yesterday. Yeah. Um, and it was really windy. And that's and blue it was skies. Raining on and off all day. Um, we wanted to wait till it got dark to go on the lift off so you could see the yeah. strip all lit up and the lights. But when we got there, they'd actually shut it because of all the day. Um So we had to go back into the Area 15 bit. So we pre-booked tickets yeah, with them direct. Um, and they did actually give us a refund. Yeah, so we had to fight for it a bit though, didn't yeah. we? They said because it had been pre-booked and yeah. like already like done, they would do it. But I think if you'd just turned up on the day and paid for a ticket, I think it would have been a bit different story trying to get the... Yeah, line. yeah. So, but it was good though. But I, I think yeah. the point is, like Charlie's making, <laughs> is maybe just perhaps not pre-book things as much during this time of year. But hey, hey. Anything that's like weather dependent, just be a bit careful about just because the weather can't yeah. just turn at this time of year. But um, we'll have to get some food now. Yeah, go to Hell's Kitchen. So, so we'll bring you along. Exciting. Bye. kitchen that's the prefix menu just pause it that's what i'm having these are the other options if you have allergies like charlie does and uh, that's the seafood section there 
but he sat his own bed to start with and this seat this table was free so i asked them could we sit here and then they said yeah that's fine we just had to wait an extra 10 more minutes but it's very fancy isn't it charlie yeah and that's our view and being the gentleman i am i let charlie choose the strip view So the cocktail I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for the Roman Spritz. Um, but be careful on the wine, because it's like $500 a bottle on some of these pages, so make sure you don't actually order the wrong bottle. But you can see the beer and stuff. I'm not going to do all the menu pages, but you can kind of see, you can get a beer for like 10 to $15. Um, all the, the most expensive cocktail is $27, and that's on the other page. So what are you having, Charlie? Um, I'm going to have the lobster risotto and then the chicken chidori, I think. But you can't have a pudding, can you? No. You might be able to have ice cream. There's only one pudding on the menu, which is yeah. the sticky pudding. That's what I'm having. I'm gluten-free. I'm gluten -free. I yeah. can't eat that, so. But I'm doing the prefix menu, so I'm having the scallops, beef wellington, and the sticky toffee pudding. Nice. So Charlie, how's your um, lobster risotto? Absolutely delicious. The meat on this lobster is just delicious. It's really chunky and meaty. And then the, um, the risotto is like a nice creamy garlic yeah. flavour. Yeah, I, I, I can concur. I'm not a big fish or lobster person, yeah. but that is absolutely fantastic. Delicious. And I got a glass of champagne. And I got that. Nice. Here's oh. well, some gin and vermouth with an olive and lemon twist. Like $20, it's good. Here's my here's my wedding tune. Charlie, we've got some puree, and Charlie's got the fillet. It looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. It looks absolutely amazing. Service it's, it's impeccable. They've literally just taken away our our starter place, and within 25 seconds, our mains were here. I got some bad news, guys. I dropped my food down my top. Literally, look at that. Ridiculous. And we're gonna to go to Van the Pump in a minute for a cocktail. So I have to zip my jacket up. Good. Um, I've had half of mine so far. It's fantastic. The mashed potato we ordered was stone cold, so the guy's gonna get us more. Yeah. What about you, Charlie? How's yours? My fillet was, I asked for it um, rare, and it's, it's good for me, yeah, that's rare. It's great, isn't it? It's delicious, and the... Um, well, here we are. Thank, thank you very much. And the um, burning sauce is really nice. Yeah, it's great. Um, so yes, yeah, so it turned out the chicken wasn't gluten free, so that's why I went for the steak. Yeah. And I'm a sucker for filet, so... Yeah. And tomorrow night, yeah. Yeah, we have steak again tomorrow. Yeah, I'll probably have chicken tomorrow night at the top of the strat. Alright, we'll come back to you after dessert. I just told Charlie something interesting she didn't realise. A lot of you probably know this, but these fountains here, these are the fountains Evil Knievel um, rode his motorcycle bike over um, for the owner of the uh, Caesars Palace at the time, Jay Sarno. Um, to get publicity for the, for the casino at the time. I think it's like in the 50s and 60s. I think he ended up in hospital for like a year, broken dozens of bones. But yeah, these are the fountains. Look at this. Charlie's not having a dessert, are you, Charles? No. no. I'm too full to yeah. have a whole dessert. And it's not gluten free, yeah. but she got some ice cream. Hi. My yeah. sticky toffee pudding was delicious, and Charlie had some of the ice cream. A little scoop. Oh, tiny, tiny, tiny. The, the ice cream is sensational, and a better, a better scotch sauce is fantastic. But that is big enough to share. I can't eat all of that. That's another meal which has defeated us. We, I haven't finished one meal since I've been here. Literally, it's incredible, isn't it? Mm. But yeah, it's good. I would come here. What, what would you say? Yeah, I think it's definitely worth coming for an experience. Yeah. It's like really good service. It's a lovely setting. Good food. I'm dreading the bill. Yeah. And the wait, the wait has been good as well. To be fair to him, he's been very attentive. Yeah. But I'll show you the, um, the bill when it comes, and um, but then I'm going for a little lay down because we're, we're going to meet hangover, hangovers and hand pay in about three hours, yeah. and we're, gonna, we're doing a ten dollar group slot ball because we want to hit it big today. And I'm going to go shopping in a minute around the um, shops in the Flamingo because I want to see what merch yeah. they have. So film a bit of that if anyone's interested yeah. in what sort of things they have to say. Or but, all, but my advice is don't buy anything from the shops, like juice-wise. We bought two Tropicana apple juices, back home like two quid, like for both. Yeah. Ten, ten pounds for two. Yeah. It's insane. But we all know that. 
and we still keep coming. Ciao. Hello. Hello. So, so before we give you our final thoughts on House Kitchen, go Charles. Yeah, fantastic. Um, if you're a bit of a foodie and you like good service, nice restaurants, definitely come here. I, re I would recommend it. It's definitely worth it for the experience. And the bill come to $266, uh, so we just round up to $300. Yeah. Um, and it was, I think it was worth it, wasn't it? Yeah. And the guy was good. I think my favourite thing was actually my lobster risotto, actually, thinking about it. It was just delicious. And look, and look what accidentally fell into our pockets. One of the house kitchen tea towels, <laughs> our napkins. Um, actually, it just wasn't one, it was two fell in our pocket, wasn't it? Oh, we're badasses. <laughs> Ciao. So I thought I'd show you the food court. So we've not really explored the hotel much. So what's that? Auntie Annie's. Auntie, Auntie Anne's. The Wing Zone. The Johnny Rockets. American Stable. What, Nathan's. Oh, and we've got bananas. I'm, I'm not thinking about getting more food. I can show you. Oh, it's other good pieces. They're huge, isn't they? Obviously, you get them by the size. I, I, I've had a stromboli before. We're okay, thank you. Yeah, I've had a stromboli before. I recommend that. It's like a calzone. And the world famous Nathan's hot dog. That's it. That is for the food course. There's lots of options if you, if you like everything deep fried and. Ready. <laughs> or if you're drunk at the end of the night yeah, and you yeah. just need some, some food to soak up that alcohol. But yeah, it's okay. It's better than Bally's when we stayed there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bally's had nothing, really. Yeah, Bally's is rubbish. Yeah, Bally's is shit. Or horseshoe now. Or horseshoe. Actually, I like horseshoe because he gave me money last night. I take it back, horseshoe. So we've come in the Flamingo gift shop, haven't we? Yeah. This is what I've been excited for. <laughs> yeah. So we want to get a Christmas decoration. We want to get a magnet, a Flamingo. I Toy, but I'm not sure. I thought you wanted it for the bedroom. Yeah. Like you have to get that it's one if you get room. one. Yeah. I think that's about $15 that is. Well, it's on the spare bed. Yeah. Flamingo. He's cute. He's cute, but you have to get one with a logo on it, I think. Vegas logo. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think so. so for all you Golden Knights fans out there who, who will love American football, or as I call it, catch, there's some lots of merch here. Yeah. It's actually quite nice, just for Radius jersey, to be fair. But we love gift shop um, walk arounds when people are on holiday. Yeah, because I always like to know what they sell. So, so I'll try and do a good job of this for everybody. Oh, the hat's cool. Did you bring your Mirage hat, Charlie? No. Oh, you didn't? Oh. I do like a hat. Oh, though. Charlie's going to wear a special merch jacket later. Maybe. No, you have to. You have to. Everyone wants to see it, man. You have to. Oh, I like that. I like that. How much is that? That's 70 good. bucks, yeah, that's quite nice. I'd wear a hoodie. That's yeah, cool, Flocktails. Flocktails, Flocktails and Dreams. It was 22 bucks. 22. Yeah, oh, the Flamingo. I'm gonna get, I'll get some sort of t-shirt Oh, here we are, Charlie, these are magnets. These are fantastic. I really wanted the Flamingo one. Oh, what does everyone recommend? I kind of, like, we've got, we'll show you it later in one of the vlogs. We got one from Circa last night and it's Vegas Vicky. It's really cool. I think if that was pink, I'd have that. If they have I've... that in a different colour, I'd probably get that as well. That's I quite like the white, to be fair. It just gets grubby though. I like that one, Charlie. I like that. that. Yeah, I don't really wear a lot of Do you like that one? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. We're trying to not get all the magnets, which look like the same on our fridge. Yeah. How much is that then? I don't want to know, do I? Because it's going to upset me. Oh, come out, Charlie. How cool is that? Charles, ah. <laughs> that would definitely fall off our fridge. That would because we've got a hard floor. That's quite cool as well. Flamingo. Oh, which one should we get? Um, I'd like it if it said Las Vegas on it as well. Yeah. See, our vlog's not just about gambling. It's about um, shopping in the it's gift shopping shops. Shopping in gift shops and eating. <laughs> I don't know, which one should we get? How much are they? I don't know, I don't want to know because it upsets me. No, it... How much is that one? Five ninety five. We might be able to get both. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, would you want both, would you? Oh, here we are. There it is. There. That, that is... one's six dollars. 
about seven. Is that seven? My eyes are terrible. Seven bucks. So that's six. Is that six? Yeah. That's seven. Look at us. We don't we don't do this when we're putting money in a slot machine, do I know, we? We're just like, yeah. Let's put it <laughs> that's in. That's a cool one, isn't it? How much is that one? Okay. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll turn this off and um, we'll come back to you. We'll show you what we, what we have. Actually, I can leave it playing and I'll show you the rest of the store. Yeah, yeah, we've not made our mind up yet what we're going to buy here. Oh, there's more here. Oh, this is a nice one. It's like a mosaic one. Yeah, I prefer, I prefer like, the, like the logo one, personally, Charles. Yeah, it's true. But as all you gentlemen out there will know and understand, our opinions means nothing. Okay. And they've got your snacks in here as well. Uh, I guarantee it, none of these drinks in this fridge have any prices on it. There's so more stuff over here. There's some sandwiches. There's your pharmacy. We've literally just walked into a room and finally they've made up our room for us. Before we went to Caesar's Palace, our house kitchen, we, we stood at the guest services for 15 minutes and there's only one person in front of us and the guy was complaining about the same thing. He's been here all week and they hadn't cleaned his room or given him fresh linen or toilet roll. But but they, but they it the point that I'm trying to make is I'm not moaning, but so you know, that if you do go downstairs and you, and you express your concern, they gave us some, back, some, some money back off our resort fee. So yeah. by saying something, we got $50 back. So it's worth it. Mm. But yeah, Charlie's going to show you some of her stuff in a moment, some of her merch. Right. So welcome to Charlie's shopping channel. Um, so yeah, just because we like to see what people buy on their holidays. So this is a little feature that I'll do. Um, so yeah, we just went to Flamingo shop and got some bits. I got some Flamingo pyjamas and these were 34 95 they're an excess size um just for reference i'm a size 10 if any ladies want to get something similar um i also got this flamingo t-shirt which says flock tails um and that's 22.95 if anyone's wondering um and that's a medium um then we got a christmas decoration that's my favorite which is alfie's favorite so that's quite cool i think i can't remember how much this was, was it that 10 was 10 eight, bucks eight dollars no ten dollars that was yeah right? ten dollars so there's that one. So that's got to go away till Christmas. Um, and then we decided on this flamingo magnet as well, which was ooh, $6.95. And of course, I got my little cuddly toy for the spare room, which is very cute. I think he was 20. Um, and then, yeah, there's a the carrier bag it came in just because I thought that looked cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thanks for staying tuned. Just that is absolutely gorgeous. Very, very, very pretty. Pretty. Flagtail, flagtail. So, Charlie, if you've got to show you this. So, we got this magnet from Circa last night with Vegas Vicky. It's quite big, to be fair. Nice and sturdy. That's sweet. Uh, every time I come to Vegas at home, I've got a little collection. So, I've been to Vegas six times. I collect the poker chip pillow and I got different denominations. So, I like it, it's a fun. Ooh. So we're about to do our first um, sock haul with hangovers and hand pay. Yay! Which is like... Yes. <laughs> hi. So we've arrived from a group sock haul. There's a lot more people than what I was expecting. What about you, Charlie? Yeah, I'm excited. I've got my uh, passion fruit martini. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Hope you wish us luck. Bye. Charlie, it's behind the scenes, the hangover is the handbag. I know, the top secret. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the Max style Dragon Inc. and we're doing $10 a spin. We're going to Ireland too. <laughs> so Charlie's spinning first. We've both invested a hundred each. Come on, Charlie. Did you start to do this? Yes! First spin! Hey! Yes! Go ahead, Charles. Oh, come on. Come on. 
Oh, that should be good. That should be good. Yes. Well done, Charles. Charlie, should we take our money and go? You get your money back. Nice. Wow. You're welcome. I told you we're bringing the luck. I told you. I told you. It's that lucky penny you gave us. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Charlie, you still got two more games, I think. Wow, that could be like four or five hundred. Would you press it now or would you let go? <laughs> well done, Charlie. <laughs> Only the second bonus, so it's 7.48 up. Go on. Words. Oh, go on. Oh, the majors went through. Oh. Yeah, any words? Anything, yeah. Anything, table. Any ball, play ball, one more. Wait, so we're doing the last 10 spins. <laughs> so what's happening? Um, so we've all decided we want to keep going. Yes. So we, we feel like we're going to hit So, so we, they took the out, then <laughs> we just yeah. put it straight back in. Yeah, so we're going to do it. Go on, Charlie. Go on, Charlie. So, I think we should just, I think we should just play it down to our last 11 spins. We've not hit anything. So what are we doing now? I need to zoom out. So we lost, all, we lost $1,000. So literally, we're not leaving this machine, are we? Like, so, so we've all agreed to put 50 more bucks in and do $5 spins. So we'll take it from there, see how it goes. And done. Um, look at it, lucky Gina Kelly. Yeah. Oh. I agree, I agree. Yeah. I think we're going to hit something this time. I'm more impressed about her outfit than I am about that machine. I didn't want to myself. Like, comment, subscribe, because this is a blast. I, I tell you what, if you come to Las Vegas, you can do a group stop ball for jeopardy, for drama, for suspense. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Yes, we just hit it. Come on. We've won about 30 quid. <laughs> Come on. We're doing five dollars a spin. Come on. Words. Oh. 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 Why well don't, dude? <laughs> so we've agreed to play it down again, and we send Charlie first because she brings it home. Come on, Charlie! Three more. Pressure. You will be banished if you don't hit it. Well done, Charlie. Well, well done on hitting nothing. Great. I think either win big or go home. Go hard and go home. Go home. Oh, Rihanna, again, it's hit on me. Give us a spin. I'll stick with it. No! Oh! So we decided to play it down. Right. I'm going to keep you involved. I will call the last 20 spins. It's not been too kind to us, but it's been fun. It has been fun. Yes. Come on, Leanne. Bring it home. Come on, Leanne. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like we're winning. <laughs> Come on. Just keep us involved. Finish it off. Finish it off. Finish it off. Oh, Leanne says no. Oh, 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 oh. Was that Charlie Wakeley? What? Why can't he give us six? Okay, thanks, Charlie. Try hard, Charlie. Try hard, Charlie. Come on. Uh, I'm done with it. 
Think of pissing. What? Think of pissing. <laughs> there is an 18 warning at the start of this vlog. Now! Oh, oh, oh you yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, this is not a fair one. No. Oh! Roll right by too, roll. See that trouble? Roll right by. Yeah. He knows we're doing a group stop call. He knows. Charlie, do you want to finish off? Bring it home. Bring it home, Charles. Bring it home. Yes, I was thinking. Oh. Go on, Charlie. Wow. Well, you might get one more. Oh. Wow. Hey. Oh. Game over. So the group pool was a disaster, but good fun. But we met new friends. Hey. Oh, friend. He's my friend. Oh, oh, friend. friend. Oh, friend. Brian and Leanne. Hey, are, Brian and Leanne. They're in the vlog. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey. hey so, so we're meeting Hangovers and Hanpei, and we're all going to this little country bar. So they're in a taxi behind us. So I'm not going to vlog much more, because I'm going to get on it, and I'm going to win some money. Ciao. Hopefully. The MGM Grand has rinsed me. Not one line hit, not one bonus. We'll do it. But thank you to um, Hangovers and Hanpei, Brian and Leanne, Jen and Andy. You're, it's amazing. And thank you to those guys who got our Uber for us. Fantastic. What a great day. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh no! Nice. Where are we going now? We're going to the America Diner at New York. But we get back because because the universe is a bitch. It's going to make you burn off the calories before we eat. Yeah. Right, I'll come back. We can blindly into another's arms. Demands of gain from jealousies would blow our walls. So we're going to the America Diner for a late night snack. Because we're quite hungry now, aren't we, Charlie? Yeah. yeah we've not, not eaten since Hell's Kitchen. No, I mean, I haven't had some scallops and um, beef wellington. I didn't finish all my meal. And this is it here. 
but you can get a ribeye here between 5 p.m. and 5 a.m. like 20 dollars i'm not sure how good it will be um i've gone for the chicken country fried steak what have you gone for charles i'm having an omelette so um, yeah yeah it's good man our service with, nice with a tea as well and with a tea and some cheese yeah but we've been drinking with hangovers and hampay and a few other people we're very, everyone's very nice it's 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 2300 hours and um yeah we're in the american diner so you can see in the new york new york yeah, it's, nice it's pretty reasonable we'll show you our food and that's going to be a signing off for the night so peace out and love Yeah, I know. It's so random. So I got the country chicken and eggs, and Charlie's got the omelette. I've got an omelette with hash browns. And Charlie has literally just said to me, "Yeah, what sauce is on yours?" And I was like, "Fuck knows. It looks like sick. It looks like a baby's thrown up over my chicken." Let's have a look. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Oh, that's actually quite nice. It? It's like um, it's like a weak peppercorn sauce, isn't that? Oh yeah. It's fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. Got a bit of toast. We're happy because yeah. I'm steaming. So I need some food, mine. man. My looks good. Yeah, it's good. My omelet. We'll see if we'll come back to it tonight because um, it's it's quite late now. But we got to walk back. We're still in New York, New York but we got to walk back to the Fe, um, Flamingo. So. Wish us luck, we'll have a little gamble on the way back. If we hear anything, I'll bring you along. Another meal attempted. Another meal failed. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Look at the size of that thing. So like someone's peeled off loads of skin from their face. But, I'll be fair, it tastes all right, man. The toast was fantastic. I love those hash browns. Yeah. My eggs were nice. But the chicken steak, Nah, I just can't eat it, it's too much. Charlie, did you enjoy yours? Yeah, omelette. My omelette yeah. was nice and hash browns. Yeah, that's right. Take it easy. Any final thoughts, Charlie B? Yeah, we've had a really fun night. So, absolutely lovely to meet Jolene and Chris from Hangovers and Hampays. And involved in the group stop call with everybody um yeah we've had a really fun night we've had a good day as well so thank you everybody for watching subscribing leave comments please take with us because this is not the end we've got the vlogs coming out soon we'll see you soon we're going back to bed now Yeah,